Okay, this is going to walk you through task 10. So the first thing it says is to download the Flipgrip app to your phone. So I'm actually going to do that. I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. So you can watch me do that on my Android. Obviously, if you have an iPhone, it's going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go to the Play Store. And I'm going to type in Flipgrid, which I already did because I've done this before. There's my Flipgrid. I'm going to enable it. Yours will be install because this is probably the first time that you're installing it. I've installed mine before, so it might say something slightly different. So I'm going to enable it. And then it might take a moment to install. And then I'm going to open it. So this is what pops up. So I'm not going to log in. I'm going to leave it just like this. And we're going to go back to the task for a minute. So the task says enter the flip code on the app. And we're going to enter Strouth 7413. Okay, so let's go back to here and we're going to enter into your uh, where it says enter flip code Strouth, S T R O U T H. Of course, now I forgot the number 7413. Okay, 7413. Okay, and then I press the arrow. Okay, and this is taking me to my grid. Well, it will not be your own grid, it will be whoever's grid is assigned to you, you can use this. You're going to end up using my practice grid. So this is my practice grid. And let's go back to the directions. Choose their content topic from the drop down menu. OK, and then record a video starting with your face, then flip the camera to show your computer or classwork on it. So we wanted to do this so that you could see what the student experience would look like. But if your students have it on their phone, they can show themselves talking, but then they can also turn the camera around and show something that they're working on. OK, so let's go back to that. And we're going to pick the content one, my content topic. That's what I called it. OK, and we're going to record a video. And to do that, we're going to press this plus sign here. So we're going to, I'm going to pretend to be a student recording. So this is what you would practice as well, um, or this is what your students would experience. So I press this and you notice right away, that's my ceiling. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so that you can see my face and then tilt this a little bit so you can see it at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to film me. So I have 10 minutes to record. I would record my video. I would record whatever it told me to do. And then it tells me to flip and show my work. So this down here, the students could flip so that instead of seeing their selfie face, they could show something else. For example, they could show, you know, here's my work. Here's my math work. Okay, so then I'm going to stop the video. And every time you make a flip grid, you can review the video. So here's the review. I can edit it. And then I'm going to go to the green button on the end. You can take that selfie. I'm going to have to flip it back over to take my selfie. Oop, nope, I didn't. There I am. Okay, you can see my selfie and then I have the choice of putting my name, my full name, whatever I want to type, and then I submit my video. So this is what your students would experience if they did this. So we wanted you to use this as a task so that you could see um, what it would be like for their students um, so that you can see that they can turn their camera around, they can show some other work besides just them talking. Um, and also, if a student is having a problem with it, now you, having experienced this task, can kind of troubleshoot with them if they need that help. So that was task 10.